my dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ as we try to understand today's gospel the lord is telling something very beautiful and he is telling if anyone want to become my followers disciples deny yourself take up the cross and follow me three things to become a disciple to become a good follower of jesus christ first deny yourself take up the cross and follow me my dear friends as i was going through the parallel gospels i found seven times the same message is conveyed the seven times the same uh, thing is told and very often we are very ignorant we say one side we have to become disciples or followers of jesus christ but at the same time we fail to deny deny ourselves and take up the cross in the gospel of luke it is told clearly take up the cross every day not when you go to the church not when you pray you have to deny yourself and you have to take up the cross and follow no every day you have to do it very often we hear people saying i have got beautiful house i have got beautiful wonderful obedient children luxurious car and all the comforts we have and some people especially the youngsters they say i have got 3000 4000 facebook friends and i have got my own youtube channel 1 lakh 2 lakh subscribers and they are projecting their self this is the attitude of the world but jesus is telling something very different if anyone wants to follow me you have to deny deny themselves and take up your cross and follow me my dear friends one thing is very clear there is a physical life and there is a soul life physical life means we have got a physical body and it will die one day and jesus never told here you don't take bath you don't dress neatly you don't feed your body he never told something like that we have to give and keep our body neat clean and holy because our body is the temple of the holy spirit praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord, praise the lord. Praise the lord. and the second thing we have got a soul life we have got a soul within us and we are leading a life towards the eternal life that is our ultimate end more than the temporary life we aim and lead a life of eternal so we have to keep our soul away from all the sins away from all the stains of this world hallelujah 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. dear friends you have seen small kids especially the baby babies born immediately you have seen they are very they look very small but within days within months their body uh, grows so fast no see it very fast they develop very fast their mind expand very fast their intellect expand expansion happens so fast and when we receive baptism we receive 
the holy spirit we know that think about a cup of water a cup of water is not similar to a cup of, to a bucket of water never it's not similar it's not same when we receive baptism suppose we we have a water in a small cup and we have to make it like a bucket of water bucket of water we have to make how it is possible when we receive the sacrament of the initial sacrament sacrament of baptism we have one small cup of water and we have to expand it expansion of the holy spirit must happen within our life when we partake in other sacraments especially when you go to the church for holy eucharist and when you receive holy communion and when you do the other sacraments you are actually expanding the same thing the spirit of god within you you understood hallelujah 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 that is a soul life so we cannot be so ignorant and arrogant thinking about our soul life more than our temporary life eternal life is very important but very often what happens in our day to day life when people laugh at you when people speak ill about you you become very down you feel very much disappointed you are in stressful situation you become very angry why you are re- reacting like that why things are happening like that think about our childhood we used to get corrections from our parents from our elders teachers friends from every nook and corner we get corrected in a worse way also we get corrected and thinking about that time that time we never had complaints we never had complaints with open heart we received we listened to it and we practiced the good thing they told us they taught us and now when we are grown up when someone is correcting you when someone is telling you that something is wrong with you you become very upset why it is happening like that why it is happening like that because we are still holding the self you have more than the soul life you are still holding the physical life praise the lord hallelujah 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 dear friends it is very important it is very important that is why we read in the word of god for those who want to save their life will lose it and those who lose their life for my sake and for the sake of the gospel will save it we forget it very often we forget it but today through the gospel once again the lord is reminding all of us we have to keep this in mind we have to remember this is the word of god jesus is talking to you do not love your life more than the word of god and jesus do not go behind too much into the worldly things everything is needed to an extent but more than that we should not give more priority we should not focus more on physical life hallelujah hallelujah sell it more louder hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah difference yesterday i was going through the life of hindi movie actress sri devi have you heard about her yes a beautiful and wonderful actor you know few years back she was found dead in a bathtub in dubai and you know her friends and uh, 
nearby colleagues and family members they all participated and they all gave several interviews after the death and you know most of them they were focusing on a particular point they were telling one thing in movies she was so pretty she was so beautiful she was so joyous very happy and pleasant but in real life she was not at all happy she was struggling like anything she was in trouble a troubled person she was that was a common idea everyone who participated attended the interviews they talked about this particular person dear friends the other side we see wonderful beautiful actress and conveying so many things to the people when we watch movie and she had so much money wealth having big bank balance and she got married to a person who was a producer of movie luxurious car private jets going abroad all the time every comforts they had but the fact of fact inside what is happening not happy in real life not happy not joyous and not pleasant not finding any meaning in life this is why i am telling you my dear friends we have got a physical life we have got a soul life and we must give more importance to soul life more than the physical life jesus never told to avoid to neglect the physical life completely you have to keep one side do not look at there do not give any concern never he told but the other side more than that we should give more priority to the soul life praise the lord hallelujah 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 dear friends very often very often i find students especially the college college students they remain in the platform they stand in the platform with uh, their friends in group they form a circle and they make challenge among them they tell we shall have a competition who can stand closer to the speedy moving train i see i see so many students so many adults they play with their life and they tell we shall have a competition like this very strange competition remaining standing there on the platform they are telling we shall see who will stand more nearest more closer to the speedy moving train why are they risking their life why are they risking their life why are they putting their life into trouble they don't want to live their life or what i don't understand this is how people behave this is how people they understand things and several news we hear people just climbing on the train and having selfies climbing on the train electric train high tension wire is there upside and not thinking about that not caring about it they want to have millions of like they want more subscribers and they do all these things risking their life why do they do that and there are people youngsters they drive so fast and they drift their car or bike and they risk their life as well as the life of others the people who walk quietly they really bring risk why they are doing like that 
my dear friends in jesus christ it is very important to keep this in our mind we should not put our life into risk we should be vigilant we should be alert when we put our life into risk there is a soul within you there is a soul within you don't forget it do not forget it we must be aware we must be taking care of the soul that is why we should keep our life away from all the sins away from all the wrong tendencies of the world hallelujah 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 we have got beautiful examples of saints they all tell us our life is a gift of god whatever we have we have received from god only whatever we have our wealth health money our car house parents children family everything we received by the grace of god so we must be account- accountable to it. we cannot simply put our life into risk so we must be taking care of our soul my dear friends that is why we have got beautiful sacraments in the church we have got sacrament of reconciliation every time when we approach the sacrament of reconciliation god is giving you a beautiful opportunity to come back and leave all your sins he wants to see people leading as a holy life he wants to see everyone leading a sincere and faithful life and if you are ready to do it surely you will watch you will experience number of blessings number of graces falling upon your life why we are not blessed we pray a lot but at the same time we remain in sinful situation and we do prayers you make a change you make a shift remain in holiness remain in sincerity you follow the commandments you read and understand the word of god you do your prayers with sincerity you will experience you will see the mighty blessings falling upon your life and family my dear friends concluding as we are partaking the holy eucharist the highest prayer let us remember all our intentions once again let us in a special way surrender our life into the mighty hands of jesus christ let us surrender our family into the hands of jesus christ saint paul in his letter he speaks everything is lawful all things are lawful but all things are not profitable this is very important out of his conviction he speaks all things are lawful but all things are not profitable for our life let us tell jesus christ you help me in a special way so that we everyone can realize what is good and what is wrong in our life and may almighty god bless all of us amen